Okay, week three of book Opalathon. Now this week is gonna be shorter because I'm only gonna vlog through Sunday because Monday starts the Buzzword Readathon. So that's gonna be a separate vlog. I'm gonna start on Monday for that. So this is only gonna be today, which is Tuesday through Sunday. So just one day less. Like. Okay, <laughs> we're not gonna go to my basket of books this week because I really just want to finish the books I'm in the middle of right now, which is My Dear Hamilton, which I am on track for that to finish on Sunday. I'm on page 146 and really enjoying this. It is definitely a slower read though, like I can't fly through it really. I have to kind of take my time and absorb it, which is fine, um, but I am really enjoying it. The writing is fantastic. so. Yay for that one. And then I am halfway through A Discovery of Witches on audio. So I would like to finish this this week as well. But um, those are my goals. And then if I can get to my Kindle book, which I still have not touched yet, <laughs> that would be fantastic. But I'm not going to stress out about that. So we'll see. Um, and uh, this week, though, let me tell you. Um, I have been feeling very scatterbrained lately, and now that we're actually getting back onto a schedule after, I'm not kidding, six months of not having a schedule, <laughs> um, I'm not doing too good with that. And I'm, I'm someone who thrives on organization and thrives on planning and, you know, I'm a planner big time. And now that we're starting to get back into it, I'm excited about it, but I'm also feeling a little bit lost. I'm feeling a little bit like not on top of my game here. I am procrastinating on a lot of things and I am dropping the ball on a few things because I'm just forgetting about them because I'm not planning out things very well. Um, I have found that happen a couple of times. So last night um, I took some time away from reading to kind of um, do some searching about some things and looking up some podcasts maybe that I could listen to just to kind of help get my motivation up and kind of give me some new ideas, new and fresh ideas for that. So I think I'm going to listen to a podcast episode today for one that I found last night that sounded kind of interesting. So I'm going to give it a try and see what I think. I'm going to listen to an episode that kind of appeals to me and see how that goes. Um, but that's something I might be concentrating on this week as well as kind of like revamping my planning methods, if you will. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And I'm also getting a book from the library today that is ready for me. I put it on hold and uh, it's ready for me today. So I'm gonna go pick that up and it has to do with like setting goals and stuff like that too. It's actually written by the girl who designs the planner that I use, so that's pretty cool. So uh, we are gonna do that today. I need to go to Walmart today pick up a few things. Layla starts gymnastics tonight. She's very excited. It's her first class. Um, so kind of a busy day today, but I will be trying to sneak in as much reading as I can. And I'm going to listen to that podcast as well. So, um, yeah, kind of a busy Tuesday, but I'm definitely feeling the motivation to get everything done. So let's do it. have a great update for you today. Uh, I did read a little bit of Hamilton last night, 
but I'm still 30 pages away from where I wanted to be. I just couldn't stay awake last night. And um, yeah, I got kind of into, I really got into like this whole time management thing and um, listened to a couple episodes of a podcast that I uh, was recommended and really liked, um, like to the point where I was taking notes. So uh, yeah, that kind of took up a lot of my brain space yesterday, which was which is fine. Um, I do really feel like that's something I need right now and all that. But again, I didn't listen to any of my audiobook and I didn't read as much as I want to. I read probably about 40, 40 pages or so of Hamilton. So not a total loss, uh, just not where I want it to be, but that's okay. Um, today I have some classwork I have to do for my class and I am about to go out to the store because Kayla needs something for class tomorrow. Great, because I was just at Walmart yesterday. And she came home from school yesterday and said, I need this. <laughs> okay, great. That's fine. It's fine. So um, I'm going to go to the store and get her what she needs. It's totally fine. The store happens to be next to a Starbucks, so I'm not super mad about it. Let's be real. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get that done so I can get back home, get my schoolwork done. Um, I do have a creative project I want to work on as well, but I'm going to kind of give myself a timer for that, you know, only work on it for a little bit, and then I can sit down and read. So that's going to be my plan. And then we don't have any outside obligations after the girls get home from school at all. So um Hopefully tonight can be a really good just kind of hunker down and read night for me. I think it'll be uh, good on that. I have gotten a few messages um, from people about Hurricane Sally. Now, obviously, I don't live in Florida anymore, but I did live in the Panhandle, and my family is there. Um, so I know by the time this goes up, it'll be all over, but my family's fine. They didn't have to evacuate or do anything like that. Um, just a lot of rain is happening. A lot of rain. They're getting a lot of it. So I'm seeing a lot of pictures from home, um, of just like some of the parks kind of flooding and all that stuff. So that's the biggest concern is flooding, but, um, they're kind of in the thick of it right now and they're both fine. So they're home just hunkering down and, um, no worries about damages or anything like that. And they don't live in flood zones either, so they should be fine. But thank you guys for your concern. I appreciate it. Okay, I think that's it for me for right now. So I will, I'm just gonna try to cross some stuff off my to-do list today so I can get to reading. <laughs> so when I get there, I will let you know how everything goes. spent this whole morning thinking it's Wednesday. Nope, it's Thursday. And um, I don't have too much of an update because oh, I have not read very much at all. I've definitely been more focused on kind of getting things done versus getting reading done. So that's just kind of where my head is right now. But I have, what time is it? a clock right behind me <laughs> okay I have about two hours until the girls are home from school and I have a very messy scrapbook area downstairs because that's what I did this morning is I did some work down there so now everything's a mess and I am working on a project where I'm ready to move on to the next phase of that project but I need to clean up first I have some cleaning and organizing to do quite a few things I want to try to you know just put away and get out of the way basically. So I need to kind of refresh that area. So that's what I want to do right now because my husband has class, so he'll be 
on the computer doing that. And when the girls get home, you know, I'm gonna wanna be with them and talking to them and being upstairs with them versus downstairs away from them. So um, I think I'm gonna take the time right now to do that. While I'm doing that, I'm going to listen to A Discovery of Witches because that's very easy for me to do. I could just put it on and I can go to town. I am just about, like, I'm at the halfway point. So I'm halfway through this book now. I'm really liking it a lot. Uh, will I finish it this week? Probably not. Um, it depends on how much I can listen to, I think, I guess today. In the next two hours, hopefully. Maybe I can listen for a full two hours. That would be amazing. Um, but we'll see. So it's going really good. I'm really enjoying it. I like it a lot. The audio is really good. So I'm going to do that. Um, and I might listen to a little bit more later after, like after the girls get home and kind of get settled. I do have another kind of crafty project I can work on, but I do it up here. Um, so I can still be around them, but we'll see. So that's like not number one priority for me. Kind of downstairs is my priority right now. So we'll see, but I do plan to pick up some books tonight. <laughs> I'm just... I'm definitely behind on my Hamilton reading. I'm not gonna finish it by Sunday the way I'm going. It's just not a book that I can fly through and like read a lot in one sitting, which is fine. I'm enjoying it. I really do like it. It's written really, really well. Thomas Jefferson just showed up. And um, fun fact, I have a direct bloodline in my family on my dad's side to Thomas Jefferson. Um, one of our ancestors on my dad's side, like the same last name, um, was his great grandmother. Oh, something like that. I need, I have the paperwork. I need to like actually figure that out. But I have a direct bloodline to Thomas Jefferson on my dad's side of the family, which is kind of cool. So, um, anyway, he just showed up. So, I'm really, really, I'm enjoying the book, really, truly. Um, it's just, I have to take my time with it, and that's fine. Some books are like that. Okay, that's my update where I am. Ooh. So um, let's go downstairs. I'm going to put on my audiobook, and I'm going to clean up my scrapbook room. Okay, uh, my house got really loud, so I had to sneak away. <laughs> I guess my kids are home. Um, someone's doing yard work crazy outside, like really loud yard work. So anyway, uh, I cleaned up my scrap room, got everything organized, and I feel really good about that. It took me a little over an hour to do that. <laughs> um, and I listened to six chapters of Discovery of Witches. So very happy about that, making some progress. Um, and that's all I've done. So now it's time, I, I feel like I kind of need to decompress a little bit. So I think I'm gonna watch a little bit of YouTube, like watch maybe three or four videos and then pick up a book. Um, so I think that's just what I'm going to do right now, but very happy about getting my scrapbook room organized. My brain just works so much better when I get that done. So yeah, so I think I will update you again tomorrow and let you know how the rest of my reading goes today because I don't really know how much I'm going to get read for the rest of the day, but we don't have any other plans and I've pretty much done everything on my to-do list. So reading is kind of the only thing left, which is awesome. 
and I will let you know how that goes tomorrow. Hey guys, all right, it is Sunday. Oh my goodness, uh, it's been a week, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and update you on where I am right now and tell you kind of my book up with on plans for this coming up week because this week tomorrow starts the buzzword readathon which I do plan to participate in but I'm still gonna also be reading for book up with on I'm not putting my books down because I have not finished them I was hoping to finish them before but I just it didn't happen so I still plan to finish them or work on them and do the buzzword readathon along with it so I've kind of worked all that out <laughs> somehow um but the two that I'm reading for Bookoplathon is still my dear Hamilton I'm on page 26 226 yeah two yeah 226 and there's over 600 pages in this book so I just could not finish it in the time frame I was hoping because I can't fly through this book it's not something that I can read quickly I have to take my time and kind of digest it which is not a bad thing. I'm really enjoying it. Um, but if I read, I've tapped it out as you can see. Um, if I read 35 pages a day out of this book, I will finish it by the end of September, which is my goal. So um, 35 pages a day of that. And then I am also reading Discovery of Witches on audio. This one I'm much further in. I'm, I only have, let's see, I'm on page 390 and there are, let me see what um, the final count on it, this book is. Um, let's see, oops, it's hard to do this. <laughs> uh, 579, okay, so I have about 200 more pages and this a little bit less than that on audio. So I will finish this no problem, like, you know, this week. I have no issues with that. So sometime this week I will finish A Discovery of Witches. So, um, that's what I'm doing for Book Uplathon is to work on My Dear Hamilton and to finish A Discovery of Witches this week. And then after the Buzzword Readathon, I will continue on because I will have a few more days <laughs> in the month of September to hopefully squeeze another one in and maybe just one more so hopefully that will work but that's my plan so uh this next reading vlog that will be coming up for this next week is going to be a buzzword readathon so i will only really be talking about those books for the buzzword and then i will do one more kind of shorter last few days of the month kind of wrap up for Book Uplathon and hopefully squeeze another one in. And then I will um, update you on these two books and let you know what my thoughts are and all that stuff. So I think that's just the way I'm going to need to play it out right now. <laughs> so um, the past couple days have been a little crazy and I even went a couple of days without reading very much and just it's been a lot. So um, yeah, nothing bad, just a lot, a lot happening. So, okay, I'm going to end it here. And like I said, my next reading vlog will go up after the Buzzword Readathon, and it will be those books only. And then I will talk more about these in the one after that, which will be much shorter because I think it's only half a week. So, okay, wish me luck. Are you guys um, doing Book Uplathon? If you are, how are you doing? Because we are more than halfway through it now. So, I'm really interested to know how you guys are doing on that if you are participating and I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you again soon.